Have you heard the term feminism? What do you think it means? Why don't you pause the video and look for the definition? The definition of the word feminism has been the source of immense confusion lately, with some believing it to mean a belief in female superiority. According to Wikipedia, the word feminisme, feminism, and feminist, feminist, first appeared in France and the Netherlands in 1872 and was used to refer to the qualities of females. The term feminism nowadays refers to the notion of political, economic and social equality of all humans and to organised activity on behalf of women's rights and interests. Indeed, the Cambridge English Dictionary defines feminism as the belief that women should be allowed the same rights, power and opportunities as men and be treated in the same way or the set of activities intended to achieve the state. Adherents of feminism respect diverse women's experiences, identities, knowledge and strengths and promote empowering all women to realise their full rights. Even though the word feminism has a positive connotation, it has, at times, been imbued with a different meaning. Due to the spread of anti-feminist propaganda and social media postings, this word has been interpreted to suggest a group of angry women who despise men, swaying the public into believing that overthrowing society's norms, perhaps by violent destruction, is a feminist aim. Despite what you may have gathered from the internet, feminists advocate for women's achievement through peaceful organisation. Feminism benefits everyone, regardless of their gender identification, because feminism means standing up for each person's rights, based on the ideal of equality among all humans. What kind of paragraph do you think this is? It is a definition paragraph. A definition paragraph defines something. In an academic essay, it is common to have one paragraph that defines a term or a concept before the writer writes about his, her main points. A definition paragraph explains what something is and gives facts, details and examples to make the writer's definition clear to the reader. The starting point for a definition paragraph is a simple definition which becomes the topic sentence of the paragraph. Topic sentences give a simple definition. Supporting sentences give more information through the use of examples, description or explanation. If you are going to use a definition that is not your own, you must put the definition inside quotation marks so the reader knows these words are not yours. Now, it is your turn to write a definition paragraph. Choose a term you want to define. Remember, the topic sentence gives a simple definition and the support sentence gives more information through the use of examples, description or explanation. When you finish writing the paragraph, leave it in the comments below and I will give your feedback. Good luck.